Hey, welcome back to Gratu Orloff's Home Movies. Uh, Gene Summers, a rockabilly legend, passed away a couple of days ago. And I thought I would show you uh, what was a really cool moment. Um, about eight, seven, eight years, eh, I guess it was seven years ago, I was at an estate sale just a few streets away from where I live. And, I, uh, and there was a lady looking at records and... And I was waiting for her to move. And uh, finally she moved and I, and I looked through the records and, and, and I found an acetate. And it was, you know, a one-of-a-kind acetate. And it said, Searching, which is, you know, the, the coaster song. And it had uh, written on there, handwritten um, vocals, Gene Summers. And I put a picture up, my wife put a picture of it up on Facebook. And uh, it turned out that... Uh, uh, all these rockabilly experts said, you know, well, we've got to let Gene Summers know about this. Gene Summers lived in Dallas. So Gene Summers actually came over to the house, and I was just going to give him the acetate because, you know, it's... It, but uh, he insisted on, on paying us a small, I, I don't know, $50, $100, something like that. I think it was 100 and, and that was really cool, but I would have given it to him for free. Um, I know it's worth a lot of money, but, you know, that's his. And he had recorded it in college as a demo. This is before they had recording tape. Uh, the people were, uh, they would record an acetate, just a, like a one-of-a-kind record. And uh, so the local Dairy Queen, know what he sounded like, so they, they'd book him. And uh, so this is just, a, this is about seven years ago, I think. Uh, Gene Summers coming over, and he's hearing this recording that he hadn't heard in... Uh, well over 50 years uh, for the first time and uh, the acetate uh, a friend of ours uh, who's a record uh, collector and, and dealer named Max Stevens who has a who has a YouTube channel called I buy old records um, he came over and, and he uh, helped transfer the acetate to a CD so we've got the CD playing through um, a really cool vintage Magnavox stereo and Gene Summers and his son is sitting next to him are hearing uh, he's hearing this record again for the first time and uh, and you see my uh, beloved Beagle Daisy who passed away a few years ago he she loved uh, Gene Summers and uh, uh, oh I went back the next weekend and asked those people if there had been other acetates there because, um, yeah, I don't know what the lady that was there looking through the records before me um, uh, might have found. And they said, no, uh, that was the only one. And so there was a girl, I guess, playing piano or, or something in the band that uh, had passed away. And that was her house. And so that's how this record was found. And so anyway, I don't know if Gene Summers ever released this unreleased uh, recording from, from his... Uh, college days but uh, anyway we're going to uh, now with uh, it's probably too much explanation let's go ahead and and uh, hear uh, just watch June Summers hearing it for the first time
I think you just held it up. Whatever can't cross, can't cross. I mean, the microphone sand with the easy hard blade, just stick it over that blade. Yeah. After the microphone. We had a microphone sand. I guess we had a microphone sand. Are you still in touch with any of the other three guys? Yeah, uh, James. The guy that wrote most of my stuff, still writing all my stuff. Uh, lives up in Washington. Right? Yeah, we, we sent him. Oh, he still has his guitars. Yeah, he still got that, that one with the red stripe. And I said, uh, I said, I'll tell you what, I'll do. I'll trade you your original, your original lyric sheet to Scooter Rock and Roll for the guitar. Oh, let me think about that. It's kind of like, no, I'm going to keep the guitar. So, I guess I'll never get that guitar. Well, it's a little cheating, you know. But, but everybody's saying it's mad, you know, and it's just another one of those videos. How old is she? Uh, I about 12 now. I adopted her when she was 6. That's a pretty good job for an old girl. She wants you. Yeah, I was so She wants you. She's been wanting. Like, he was doing hand gestures, and she had her head under there, like, that. She got you. And when I see him break the thing and come across the sidewalk, I knew he was going to get me, man. And that's the last I remember. And what would you remember exactly what went through your mind what phrase you saw him break that leash? <laughs> <laughs> and the next thing I was going to the hospital and I was like, I got that rock on beat from you. Yeah. 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 I even broke the bones in my body. They saw the bones, all that kind of stuff. They thought they were going to have to do a facial reconstruction. What kind of dog was this? Oh, Mastodon. Oh, wow. And that was in August, like uh, just three weeks before he did this. Thing. Yeah, I went to Spain with him for like that. Well, no, we didn't get any good. Not much. Uh, he's not expecting it. It wasn't bad, though. No, it wasn't bad, like, like it was. was. Yeah, I mean, from stuff. But anyhow, you're not going to do that. Were you going to Did y'all run into a lot of multiple takes or anything? Or were you pretty rehearsed and moved on to We did multiple takes, yeah. But I don't know where they are. Well, I've got to admit, Griffin, y'all, I've got a great band in Argentina where Green is from. Yeah. This last year we were doing. How about our shake? It's plain to say shake. Yeah, and we get people requesting that. And always want to do it. We're going to do a Texas record about Gene Summers. Hope you like it. Always say, if you don't, you know, they love that one. Especially the piano player. That, you know what I'm talking about? He likes uh, uh, Alabama Shake for this because we actually do it more as a piano rocker. Yeah, we'll put it in the front of the room. I love you way in there, that's for sure. What can you do? I do, I think we do all three of those in May. Okay. Except, I um, think I don't have a shame when you could see your right? I think it's in May. I used to do that. Yes, we, 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 oh, I have to like the real too. problem now. Are you paid out in G? I put it in G, but they can't get the sound. So they have to retune the guitar. Oh, wow, retune it and play it. Retune it and then play it. And that was fine, but now all of a sudden, at the end of the show, when I usually do it, they forget that they changed the key, and then they're playing it in the G key when they should be playing it in the A. And, and, and I'm not even going to do that anymore. No. They're just going to have to. Either I'm going to have to start singing it A, or, or they're going to have to make them. Yeah. Just, 
You can't sing bad. I mean, oh, auto tune. Oh, auto tune. You can't. I mean, oh. if you can talk, you can sing. I'm one of those. Oh. You know? I can sing. <laughs> 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 I can sing. We can hear her. But it don't sound good, though. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, what fun is that? No, no. It don't sound like robots. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. Robot music. Yeah. And then live, they sound like crap. Mm -hmm. Like that girl, Katy Perry. She was, I thought she was really cute and everything, and I heard her live, and I was like, whoa, that's bad. <laughs> and then make up for lack of talent, or is it that way? Just like that. Oh, that is disturbing. Oh, I'm sorry, I said that. I even did right. Disney's just evil. You know, what kind of Disney's evil? Every kid is history. I know, I know. 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 I
So she, I do it gladly. When she's so sweet, I wake up half asleep. I do whatever she wants. I go back to sleep. Uh, she, she'll let you go back to sleep. That's a good part. They're they're firm but fair owners. These dogs are. They're good. They're good. They like your hair. She's very sweet. Yeah, she is. I'm the way you go home. He said he adopted her because she was the most human. <laughs> I don't know, but I haven't seen you for this. <laughs> <laughs> she has judged seven years. I have an English bully about the same age. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and, and so I saw her when she was wanting to jump up. Do you have to help her up sometimes? Or yeah. Do you yeah. Jump yeah. I don't come up yet. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. 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 About 12. When I adopted her in 2006, they, they said she was six, but I think they just guessed. I, mean, I don't know how they know exactly. Hopefully they were getting so high. Yeah. It's, you know. But her spots used to be darker because um, I saw videos and pictures, and now she's like gone gray. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. yeah she kind of went gray. Her spots are gone gray. They were really bright. Yeah, the, the, the one on top of her head was real dark. She had a real dark oh. one. Oh. <laughs> she just may have given you some peroxide, though. <laughs> <laughs> She starts to 